face it, fireworks are pretty. But last year, the bursting lights sent more than 11,000 people to the hospital nationally, and most of the cases happened around the 4th of July. Nine Healthline reporter Elizabeth Vowell shows how to keep you and your family safe from all summer burns. From grills to boils, and yes, fireworks, the risk for summertime burns is all around. From June through August, the Baton Rouge General Burn Center reports an increase in injuries for both kids and adults. Burn surgeon Dr. Tracy Short explains that burns can quickly become critical. Your skin is the largest organ that you have, um, and it is your barrier to infection. It controls and regulates temperatures and keeps fluids in. So when you have large burn wounds, that big line of defense that you usually have is gone. Each year, thousands of people are sent to the ER due to fireworks. Short actually tells her patients to cut out the danger and leave the fiery display to the professionals. However, if you insist on shooting them off yourself, Short says follow all directions, supervise kids at all times, and remember that sparklers, although small, are extremely dangerous. We have to recognize that they are combustibles. But the most common burn injuries actually come from the home. The surgeon says adults Adult burns are usually related to gasoline, and pediatric burns are most commonly caused by scalds. They're cooking or trying to cook, um, so instant noodles, boiling water, non-microwave safe containers, they end up spilling them on themselves. Um, and then the next is actually them unsupervised during grilling activities. When grilling, it is important to never use gasoline as a starter. The fumes can actually ignite, leading to a flash burn. Also, make sure children are kept a safe distance away from any hot surface. Finally, always have, well, a designated griller. To not be intoxicated while grilling, um, then you won't make too many mistakes, um, which could, you know, land you in the burn center. For Healthline, Elizabeth Vowell, WAFB 9 News. We hear you, right? The doctor also explains that the very young and the very old are especially vulnerable to burns because their skin is actually much thinner and therefore it doesn't take as much heat to create a severe injury.